What's up, Capricorn? This is Jesse with 44 Astro with a bonus reading for Halloween. All Hallow's Eve, Samhain. The day the spirits walk the earth. Uh, the veil is thin. Um, it's all about, honestly, it's all about harvest, right? That's what Samhain was all about. That's what it's based off of. And then later it really became kind of a celebration of the dead or um, kind of an honoring of those that have passed, whether it be recently or in the past all throughout human history however you want to look at it it's the time of scorpio which is all about death and rebirth and of course this time of year it's about the crops being you know harvested and every, everything's dead around because it's cold nothing can grow and then spring will be about the resurrection or the rebirth and that's what easter's all about um the moon phase will only be a waning gibbous that just means it's getting less uh, it's, it's moving away from its full state it's going to be I'm getting less uh, illuminated. It's still going to be at like 90% though illumination. So it's still going to be pretty powerful in the sky. It will be at 11 degrees Gemini on Halloween. And it for Capric it's going to be in the sixth mansion of the moon. And I'll put a picture of it up so you can read about that. It's about friendships, but it's about the polarities too. Because Gemini is, you know, both polarities. So there's kind of contention there. So it can be about gaining, but it could also be about losing. You can read about it. Um, for Capricorn Ascendant. You're looking at a, a sixth or fifth house um, influence. So fifth house is you know self-expression, kind of the way you present yourself to the world. Um, your individuality um, can be, be gambling type thing, but you could have, and I mean, Halloween, you may decide to go out there and dress up and express yourself in a specific way, so that would make sense, you know. A sixth house, of course, is your personal health. So you could be thinking about your personal health, especially if you're eating a whole bunch of candy. You might be like, well, I need to probably cut all this out. My hypoglycemic index ain't gonna be able to handle all it is um uh but you know the it could just be prominent at this time or there could be just some kind of energy around it you know your personal health or your pets or even um like i said your own personal look or self-expression something like that it could be gambling um, some kind of speculative venture stock market type stuff any of those things can be prominent right now um <clears throat> but it'll you know it'll come and it'll go it won't be like super because the moon moves quite quickly you know <clears throat> Get you a moon card, kind of get an overall energy here. Looks like you got something with love right here with this with this Halloween energy. I mean, it doesn't really have to be just Halloween, right? It could be the energy's coming up soon. It could be maybe this already happened for some Capricorns. I mean, the timing will be different because all of you Capricorns are born at different times, different natal charts. Um, some of you could be sun, some of you could be moon, ascendant. Some could just have, you know, Saturn and Capricorn with a bunch of um, aspects on it or even a stellium in Capricorn, which would make... Capricorn very prominent for you um, so whatever that means for you or how Capricorn is strong in your chart so it's gonna be different for everyone so the timing will probably be different on this for everyone but some it could be very recently or you could be in the midst of it and it could be a couple months down the road could, could have already happened right but it looks like it's something with love because you have the two of cups here which is the Lord of Love in this deck and I'll show you I'm using the um, Golden Dawn deck for the three cards and that's the you know that's the good magicians or the white magicians or and then you know that's what the golden dawn was and then crowley of course designed the thoth deck of which i'm going to clarify with and that one is um that's the black magician or the dark magician he's he wasn't exactly known for being a very positive or good human being but light in the dark right we want balance right there emotions are running high well i mean with i mean with a love card here emotions are running high Super moon, right? And you got the Knight of Wands, the Lord of Flame and Lightning. So, I mean, like, something's coming forth, like, fast and passionately. It could be a fire sign in your life that you're infatuated with or that you really, really are into. It could be that you have a cusp on Sagittarius or have fire in your chart in some way. It could be you charging forward. Just, you know, you got the Four of Wands, which is the Lord of Perfected Work, but you also have the Two of Cups, which is the Lord of Love. So there's love here. There's, I mean, it looks like it could be new love for sure, but it could just be like reigniting, you know, for those of you that are coupled, it could be like reigniting like that flame, that fire, you know what I mean? Passion, that good stuff. And Halloween might bring that around. Maybe y'all, maybe y'all, you and your, your significant other dress up into something. Maybe you get like the oh, sexy police officer outfit or something and ignites them passions you know maybe you'll start a new phase in that aspect of life. ain't nothing wrong with that i mean sexuality is we're people right sexuality is important a little dress up never hurt nobody and halloween might ignite that or you might 
meet someone on a uh, social gathering in Halloween in some way. And look at this on the bottom of this deck. Lord of love again. This kind of love's coming here. What's on the bottom of this one? Could be could be a um earth sign. Could be earth sign, could be fire sign. Cause and you got the Aeon on the Knight of Wands, so if like that is you or you're moving forward past you or something, it's like some kind of trial or um it's called the trial of the Aeon, but it's some kind of like final judgment, but it's really like like the last stages of like learning what you need to learn before you move forward, right? It's like the last of your of your tests, essentially is what it is. And then, you know, you got the six of wands on the four of wands. So you're victorious. You figured it out. Whatever it is, you figured it out. And you're getting your just, re just reward. Because, I mean, it gets all good for you, Capricorn. Like, this is nice. And you got abundance. You got the three of cups on the two of cups. So, I mean, if, if you're already in a relationship, it's just it's just about to overflow for some reason. Like, something's going to happen. And you are just going to fall more deeply in love. And if it's, if it's new love, I mean, this is just going to take off. Boom. And it's going to be like, wow, you are really going to light each other up and you're really going to enjoy each other's company. It's going to fit in a way that maybe you never even thought was possible. But saying emotions are running high, and I don't think that's in a bad way. I think this is like being infatuated with, with someone. Like, and this, this just screams love. This is a love. This is a love reading. This Halloween energy, for whatever reason, it's going to bring around love for Capricorn. It looks like it. Maybe it already did. Maybe you're, you know, you're in that still in that honeymoon stage kind of thing. Some of you, some of you, maybe you're about to meet them, you know, and some of them might meet them down the road here. Maybe something to do with a social gathering during the holidays, anything like that. But either way, it looks like all love and goodness, Capricorn. Either way, Cap, um, please consider liking, subscribing, and commenting. Um, I got cucked by the um, algorithm last go around. I literally lost two subscribers. I don't know how that happened. I guess because I took a little bit of a break, but I did get sick, right? I mean, I didn't have a choice and I had to go to Seattle, so that didn't help either. But hopefully liking, subscribing, and commenting does help the algorithm. Either way, if you don't want to, that's fine. I'm just grateful that you're here and listening to the message. Either way, happy Halloween, Capricorn. Looks like it's going to be a good one for you.